the only thing i knew about providence that it was a healthcare company this was the first time that providence ever hired freshmen in india so oh, we don't have any okay. previous experiences to go through right and around my third year second semester i got placed into providence Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas guys. Today we have Sahiti with us and we are going to ask her about Providence. So she's going to help us with the Providence interview experience and let's see how many rounds were there, how did she get forward with it and when did she get placed actually. So hi Sahiti, how are you? Hi Kabir, I'm great. How are you? I'm doing really nice. So just a small introduction by you would really help us to understand more about you and then we can take this forward. Sure Kabir of course. So I graduated from BVRIT in 2021 okay. with a bachelor's degree in computer sciences mm-hmm. and around my third year second semester I got placed into Providence. Okay. Later in 2021 in around july i joined providence global center as an ft that's really nice so let's talk about how many rounds did you actually have sahiti so how many rounds were there in your interview there were four rounds kabir okay and now let's sum up those four rounds for the audience so guys we're going to talk about every round that was there what was actually asked and how did she perform every round out there So what was the first round actually like for you in uh, your interview So it started off with a written test that okay. was the very first round a coding okay. round mm-hmm. So it's just not the coding questions uh, okay. there were also some multiple choice questions which had a lot of core concepts of our computer science curriculum okay. involved Mm-hmm. and apart from that there were more of a uh, questions related to microsoft azure and stuff That's which nice. was basically the tech stack that is involved in most of the projects inside the company okay they were directly related to that and mm-hmm. some of them were pretty straightforward but some were actually too into the projects what they are working on right now okay how many questions did you have for coding in that round there was only one coding question Mm-hmm. and there were two sql queries that we were supposed to write okay so what was the coding question that you got the coding question is like pretty straightforward people now who are coding it's the mm-hmm. like one of the questions of the lead code like most people look into it all the time right and it's the two sum code okay that's so, that's something which is really hmm. out there where people start with it because i guess that's the first question of lead code right absolutely okay Moving forward talking about the SQL queries can you tell more about that right so the SQL queries were definitely not as pretty straightforward as the coding question mm-hmm. because often we don't tend to code a lot around SQL so that has been a right. little tough for me and SQL queries were based mostly on the join okay. statements correct one who is good with the joins maybe will be able to pull that off well right moving forward if i talk to you about the second round now So what was the second round actually like was it something again for an online assessment or was it a video call interview round how was it So after clearing this we were directly given the technical interview okay. round Okay so which is a video call that round? technical right correct oh, okay. it was a video call round mm-hmm. and in that there was only one person who was interviewing me while okay. I expected a panel to be there Right. But I was a little surprised looking at a single person. Okay. So what so, what was there in that round? Will you be able to tell us more about it? Yeah, I think I do remember. <laughs> the technical questions were mostly again around they actually intended to go through a lot of basic questions. I thought they were trying to basically check whether we were strong with the basics or not. Right. Or are we completely running behind the advanced topics and absolutely mm-hmm. forgot it about the basics? Okay. so that was the one thing i can tell and uh-huh. uh, apart from that there was uh, a lot of real time applications that they were asking for all okay. the data structures and algorithms whatever we use mm-hmm. she was trying to relate them to the real time applications and ask questions about it okay correct and one question that stands out is uh, she just asked me that whether i knew sudoku okay. then as soon as i said yes she wanted me to write the sudo code for this application Okay. So that was little tough to handle. Uh-huh. Yeah. But you were able that to do it. Something. I think I was there. <laughs> pretty much there. She okay. said I did a decent job. Okay. Moving forward to the third round, how was it again? Let's sum up the third round now. The third round was called a managerial round. This was the first time that Providence ever hired freshmen in India. So oh, we don't have any previous okay. experiences to go through. Right. 
so we were little skeptical whether this was a, actually a manageable round or is mm-hmm. this another technical round correct followed by the first one then this was a managerial round where mm. few technical aspects were touched but mostly they were asking about the project which we do in the four years all the mini major and all the projects right. that they have covered mm. and the questions were not on what was picked but it was more like why did we choose all whatever we have done right so for me why did you choose machine learning in your project and Correct. why are you sticking to java for coding and not python mm-hmm. so they basically want to know the why is of everything basically they wanted a reason behind everything you do right right correct, correct. okay so how was uh, your experience for the third round was it tough or would you say a mediocre one or very easy we can definitely answer the questions because they are not asking something that we don't know they right. they were asking entire from our resume correct so i think we should definitely be able to answer it but mm-hmm. the only point is that we should be clear with our evidences like why did we do whatever we have right. done if the person has actually done the projects and not you know got it from somebody or something like that if you're actually correct. doing them you'll be easily be able to clear the third round with no obstacles out there right right okay and moving forward to the final round i guess that would be the hr round out there absolutely that was the hr round okay what was there in the hr round then how was it for you hr round like so far one of the smoothest and the very subtle hr round that i have had mm-hmm. there were no obstacles or she was not pinpointing or anything or asking anything it was more like a conversation that happened between the interviewer and the interview okay i felt that it is different for each and every one the hr round mm-hmm. managerial and tr might match at sometimes but hr was completely person to person depends on the person depends on person to person i guess right <clears throat> right okay so i would like to ask you one thing i have heard that a lot of you know situational kind of questions uh, are asked in providence when you talk about the hr round because i went through the article that right. you written for coding ninjas and uh, i right. went through reading your entire interview experience as well so guys if you also want to read out the article wherein sahiti has actually given you an explanation of her uh, interview experience i'll put up the link in the description below you can check it out so i would like to ask you sahiti that uh, what was actually your you know call when every situational round was asked so were you more of answering them in a way wherein you will actually deal with it the way you're saying it or you just wanted to you know say it in a way that the hr feels good okay that this is a nice person and all that how are you taking forward the situational questions out there i think one tip i want to say is that whenever you think that we might answer like this because the hr might like it mm-hmm. so you'll end up or getting caught because the hr knows whether you're pretending right. or you're actually answering it by yourself correct so i think i have almost all of it whatever the situational based questions that i was asked hmm. i answered thinking that what if i were in that situation right okay so, so if yeah. if i ask you a question out of your interview experience only wherein you had a question why do you choose our company what was your answer out there so that people get get to know you know that how you actually answer situational questions out there the only thing i knew about providence that it was a healthcare company because there was nothing up mm-hmm. on the internet also before okay. we went into the interviews so uh-huh. now it's a really good thing that there's a lot to go through before you sit for the interview for providence and you can get a hold of that but initially my answer to that was that i have always wanted to be in a healthcare uh-huh. where like you know what impact you create directly on people right. so you get to see that and that's something everyone would really want to do so that was my answer to the question that why did i prefer providence that's really nice so just last question from you sahiti what would you actually recommend the people watching this video or your juniors out there who are watching your interview experience today to you know do to become a good person in the IT field or pl- get placed in a good company out there so i just want you to tell us a tip which you would say okay that this this thing should be done by you so now if you see all the juniors are too fast forward for their age and their studying in right and we never knew that so many things in our first or second years what they know now right so i think they are already lot ahead of things it's it's But, more of the technology and internet which has actually got right. this for them but again well and good for them i right right the only thing is that never lie on your resume 
okay. even if you think that sounds good later it will definitely hit you back so don't do that and moreover i think uh, the basics should be much more stronger than whatever you build on top of it you might run behind a lot of advanced technologies or learning mm-hmm. new technologies right. but you still have to come back to your basics and keep checking on them every that's time correct. that's correct really that's really you are up to date with them Mm-hmm. And I, I really thank you, Sahiti, for coming up and helping us out with your interview experience. It means a lot, and I hope it is turning out to be helpful for the people who watch this. So thank you so much, and I wish to record another video with you pretty soon. So have a nice day and happy coding, guys. Keep watching, and I hope you prepare well for your interviews. Thanks, Kabir. Thank you so much. Hi there. We hope you liked the video and had fun learning. I would like to inform you that Coding Ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called CNSAT. If you participate in this test, you can get up to 100% scholarship on any course at Coding Ninjas. It can be DSA, web development, product companies, interview preparation, and even data science and many more courses. So if you want to avail this opportunity, click on the link in the description below or the pinned comment and participate in the test now. Happy learning, guys.